Have you ever thought about being in a relationship with a chat AI bot? Sounds weird, right? Well, today I'm gonna to give you my thoughts on the whole AI phenomenon. Stay tuned. So did you jump in on the Lenza trend? For those that don't know, the Lenza trend happened uh, a couple weeks ago, maybe about a month ago, where a lot of people were paying a couple of bucks, around like 10 or 12, uploading pictures and having them altered by artificial intelligence to either be some kind of fantasy or animated or just better in general, what have you. And it, it seemed like it was one of those weekend things. It kind of reminded me of a new version of the ice bucket challenge, to be honest, but if you guys remember that. <laughs> so AI is a scary concept, or I mean, it's, it's really scary, especially if you watch a lot of horror and sci-fi like I do, but it can be a useful tool, especially in, well, in my field of video production right now. AI is kind of, AI tools, I should say, are just kind of making their way into pretty much everything. The Adobe Suite, which a lot of people use for editing either uh, video or editing pictures, is starting to incorporate a lot of AI tools that you can automatically fix a picture. You know, you can automatically fix skin tones, eye color, take out blemishes, so on and so forth, change lighting, just make the whole picture better, or in video, you know. So AI is really here to stay, to be honest. If you are in the field of video creation or what have you, AI is definitely going to be a factor as more and more tools are added to products we already use. One of the tools I use uh, is called vidIQ. It helps uh, rank keywords and such. And if you're a YouTuber, you know. Um, but they have AI tools for coming up with descriptions, coming up with titles, uh, and it's only gonna get worse there's gonna be more tools, more features that incorporate AI. A very real, very scary thing, like I said. Now, it, it, it's a blessing and a curse, in my opinion. Again, what we're gonna talk about today is all of my opinion, but um, it can save you in productivity time, you know? What used to take you 20 minutes you know, if you gotta write copy for video descriptions, like this one, I wrote this, the, the copy, the description that you're gonna read down below, I wrote it, you know. But I could save time by using something called ChatGPT. That's making news, a lot of people are just starting to realize what it can do. And honestly, I'm no expert on ChatGPT, I haven't used it at all, but I do know that you can use it to write descriptions for YouTube videos. You can use it to write script for YouTube videos. Uh, I haven't done that yet, but it's it's pretty scary what it can do. I've seen videos comparing, you know, certain cameras. So two popular cameras in the YouTube field are the Canon M50, which we are currently shooting on, just in case you're curious, and the Sony ZV-1. And ChatGPT actually wrote out a full YouTube script that you could do in like two minutes and read it and talk about it. Now, the downside is is that it's not always 100% accurate, so there's still a need for people to be in the room, <laughs> be editing. So you can glance over the script and edit, but still, you know, a YouTube script can take somebody 20 minutes, half an hour, to write maybe an hour, I don't know. Uh, I usually just talk to you guys like straight off the cuff, like, you know, like I'm doing right now, straight from my head, out my mouth to you guys. And um, it could, you know, save you, you know, an hour. But the problem is that, you know, you're still gonna have to, a human is still needed to edit it, is what I'm trying to say. So are there pros and cons to AI? Of course, just like with everything else. The pro is that you can increase your productivity. You know, what used to take me 20 minutes to write copy for a description, like I mentioned earlier, could take me two. And 
you know, I still have to proofread and make sure it's correct. You know, it may come up with some fallacies that I would have to correct. So you still need a human there, but you know, five minutes compared to 20 to, to 30, it's a no brainer. Now, the other side of AI is, I don't know if you guys have noticed, I first saw on a Facebook ad uh, for this app called Replica. Replica is an AI service that you can either chat and make a friend, a bot. Like you're literally picking out, making a, an imaginary digital friend or a significant other. Originally, I put this in the con column, you know, the negative column of pros and cons of AI. And I thought about it a little bit. I saw some news articles on it and there was a user of this service, which it is a paid for service, but still, um, where this guy, he signed up for an online girlfriend, you know, a chat bot. It's so weird to say and I hope you guys understand, but it's just weird all the way around for me. But he said that, you know, talking to the bot made him feel at ease after a long day. Uh, he was able to communicate some of his past trauma to it. And, you know, it got around and made an algorithm to know him. And, and he says it'll text him and calm him down. And, you know, some people will look at that as a con. I kind of do too, you know, there's going to be people that say that's not healthy and I would say for some people that's true. I don't think that just because it's bad for one person means it's bad for somebody else. The guy did mention in the article that he does know, you know, it's not real and there's sometimes that um, there's a glitch or whatever uh, <laughs> in the matrix or <laughs> um, a glitch in the software where like you lose that fantasy of, of it being a real person and like you you remember or it comes to you that it's it's a fake person that it's a bot um, he said but the pros on it outweigh the cons um, and for the most part it does really well for him but there's gonna be people that are not healthy enough mentally stable enough to do that um, so it's going to be something that we're going to have to watch as a society. I'm sure there's going to be therapists that are going to be come down against it. Honestly, I'm on the fence. Like I said, some people can just handle things better than other people. And just because other people can't handle it doesn't mean it should go away completely, but it is a danger, you know? So it's something that needs to be watched, but if it's helping people, you know, a lot of guys are struggling right now in this day and age with um, with real girlfriends, with real women. And, you know, maybe it helps them get over that, break that ice and to be able to communicate better. I mean, I don't think that's a bad thing necessarily and vice versa. You know, I'm sure there's a lot of girls or, and women and foxy dudettes out there that have issue talking to guys and it could be a tool to help them. Uh, I see it as a tool, you know, but others may see it as a crutch or something even worse. But I think it's something that we have to embrace as a society. It's not going away. You know, this technology is now here. I don't think it's going to go away. Like I said earlier, it's just going to keep increasing. We're going to see more of, of AI being implemented in the tools that we already use. For better or for worse, it's here to stay. So my recommendation to you is go cautiously, you know, don't necessarily give some kind of AI your personal information, because I think that's bad. I mean, we've all seen Terminator. We all know what happens when the machines take over. The Matrix, there's been tons of stories about it. So again, cautious. I know it's entertainment, I know it's fiction, but let's just be cautious about it before the machines take over and but, but don't let your fear keep you from embracing it i personally think you know incorporating some of the ai like i was mentioning with um, 
writing script, writing descriptions, it could be helpful. I don't see a harm in that necessarily. You're, you're limiting the amount of information or personal information you're giving it. Um, and that's what I would recommend to do, but you gotta think about it and make your own choices. So down in the comments, I wanna hear, what do you guys think of AI? I'm really curious. You know, I know a lot of people are scared of it. A lot of people are kind of like, we gotta embrace it. Again, from my official position, I'm on the fence. I see some good things, I see some bad things. It's, it's something I might dip my toe in, but it's just weird. You know, another negative about it too is uh, deep fakes. And it, you can look that up. I don't wanna go into deep fakes here in the channel, but it is some scary stuff. But I do believe as a whole, there is some good that come from can come from AI, but it's something we just gotta be careful with. So again, let me know down in the description what you think. I'm very curious. And with that, we will see you next time. So please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, do all the social media things. Help me fight the YouTube algorithm. Ring the bell. All right, check out thewellroundeddude.com. Dude 15 will save you 15% off anything on our merch page. And we got a lot of cool stuff there, guys. So I will see you next time. Peace.